Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Hold on, I never changed the lighting on the video. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and stopping by. It's great to have everyone here. For all of you who are brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a drummer, multi-instrumentalist, whatever else you want to call me. And we like to do these reviews because it is good for us to learn from the drummers who are better than us, so that way we can break down their technique and analyze it into an easy-to-digest form, so that way we can better ourselves as musicians. And we have quite a cool drummer on here today. So, unfortunately... I never got to see this drummer live this past uh, past weekend at the time of filming this. Apparently, he wasn't able to make this past tour, but they did have a fill-in drummer for their band anyway. We're going to be checking out a drummer who plays for a couple of different bands, but he's an absolutely insane drummer. He's got a lot of great technique to learn from, and he just he looks like Jesus. I mean, like, come on, dude. It's, it's absolutely sick. We gotta watch it. I hope I don't butcher his name either. We're checking out Felipe Boucher, who is the drummer of Beyond Creation. Beyond Creation is a band that I have seen live. Now, I can officially say that. It was absolutely sick for a show. They're a technical death metal band out of Montreal, Canada, and they have some amazing music that's out there, and the drumming, nothing short of absolutely incredible and heartwarming. Felipe is an absolutely insane drummer. He's got a lot of awesome chops behind him. He's got a lot of really interesting, great technique that we can all really learn from in a very, very effective manner. There's not really a whole lot of different drum playthroughs of him available live, to my knowledge. I mean, I didn't really take a super deep dive into it, but I did see this official playthrough. This is from Paste Symbols, or I like to call them Paste. I know they're supposed to be like Pi State or something like that. I don't ever call them that. I call them Paste Symbols. I don't care. I like their symbols. I think they're great. I play some of them. Will somebody please just sponsor me at some point? But either way, there's a playthrough that he did of a Beyond Creation song called Surfaces Echoes, and it's an absolutely cool song. I believe this song is actually on my playlist for uh, technical death metal on my gym playlist, so yeah, it's an, it's an absolutely sick song. If it's on there, it's going to be a sick song. But we're checking out this drum playthrough that he did of this Beyond Creation song for his band, and it's the official playthrough that he did with Paste Symbols. And I feel like there's a lot of really interesting and great technique that we can learn from Felipe, not only because of how amazing and technical he is as a drummer, but also because of how tasty he is and how unique and inventive his style is is and how it fits with Beyond Creation. Let's see what we can glean from this playthrough. Let's see what we can glean from Felipe's playing. And hopefully we'll be able to learn some really interesting and cool things so that way we can better ourselves. All right. So without further ado, ladies and gents, we are going to jump right into the video. But yeah. Absolutely insane drumming so far. He's not even playing anything too crazy fast or technical. It's a lot of excellent cymbal work and a lot of cool combinations. And like I said, the man looks like Jesus. And yeah, this is the highest quality of those two? Okay. I can't tell what his legs are doing down there. It looks like that he's using, uh... Okay, yeah, he's using individual single strokes. Uh, looks like he's using ankle technique, maybe a little bit of swivel. Uh, that's finger technique that he's using there. Uh, that's wrist technique, it looks like. On that other hand. There's certain parts of the fills it looks like he's coming straight from the elbow with it. I can't exactly tell. Doesn't look like it now. I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal job so far on this playthrough. It looks absolutely sick and very, very tasty. Nice good ro oh wow. That's a cool little double ride set up with a bell next to it. Very good clean wrist tank thing that he's using there.
Yeah, he's a very, very, very loose when he's doing it. So I think it's because of the positioning of his toms that he's like raising his elbows up and that's why it looks like it's coming straight from the elbow. At least that's what it looks like to me. We have a nice little change up in the timing. But yeah, absolutely cool combinations that he's using here. He's basing some of these off of different rudiments out there. I, I can't really exactly tell what it is just by the angle. I'd have to listen to it again. I'll probably find out a little bit later. Not only that, but his power on his blast beats is really well done too. I think he's getting a little bit tired here because you can tell by how his uh, how his arm movements are. This is probably a several different takes later. Cool combination on Zelda. The lifting. Yeah. Another little timing change up there. I want to see what his other hand is doing because he's got a little bit of a different technique that he's using with his uh, his left hand as compared to his right hand. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna have a little sick drama too. Okay, yeah, there we go. I think I know what he's doing with his foot technique there. Finally. So I'll, I'll, let's go down to the review real quick and I'll see if I can figure this out 100% once for all. So absolutely phenomenal job on Felipe's part. That was a very sick playthrough of a Beyond Creation song called Surfaces Echoes. I believe that's the name of the song. I'll just double check and verify. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself later in the video. Or I could always just correct myself now. Yes, the name of the song is Surfaces Echoes. Okay, good. Good, I don't feel like an idiot for saying otherwise. Yeah, he had some really good clean technique that was going on in there. It looked like, though, near the ending, he was starting to get just a little bit tired, and that was because, more than likely, this is probably several different takes later. And when you're playing at high technicality, and you have to play the same thing over and over and over again because you've made a couple of mistakes, it definitely wears on you a little bit. So let's just break down his technique, why don't we? So it looked like, honestly, on his left hand that he was using a lot more of a loose wrist and finger technique as compared to his uh, left hand. His left hand, he was looking like he was using mostly wrist. You can tell because when he was gripping the stick, he had his fingers closed, and he was most coming straight from the wrist like this almost with like a German technique kind of a deal but even then it's like it doesn't look like it was too straining or anything like that on his forearms or anything so I think honestly that was fine more than likely he probably wasn't straining too hard when he was playing this I mean that doesn't like that's causing him any problems his foot technique I couldn't exactly tell until a little bit closer by the end just by how his knees were moving but it looked like that he was using swivel there wasn't any like foot cams or anything like that but he was definitely using single strokes of some
some sort, but it looked like he was using swivel technique based on how his his knees were moving. And swivel technique is really good for shaking out some of that lactic acid. Or I'm sorry, I just found this out recently. It's not lactic acid that builds up in your muscles. It's lactase. We actually don't produce lactic acid as humans. We've been lied to. But yeah, it's to shake out some of that lactase that's in the muscles. It's absolutely insanely good. And it's also a good way so that way you can achieve some really insane speeds without having to put in nearly as much effort and as much energy. It's a great way to save some energy and get some speed. But yeah, you'll notice with some of these combinations that he's using, it's really interesting, really unique. He's using like different rudiments in there. Like it sounded like he was using breakups parts of a broken up parts of a five stroke roll on certain riffs. And that's just not really very common when you hear that in metal. Like most of the time it's just either single stroke rolls or double stroke rolls at that. There's not really a whole lot of other variation with that. So yeah, very excellent as far as how he's using those different rudiments and all that. How is he achieving that particular speed? Well, for one, a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice and time in order to get that accurate at that speed and to have that type of endurance. Mind you, that was a six minute song that we sat and watched. There's not a lot of drummers that would be able to play at that speed and technicality and keep it up, probably more than likely for multiple takes. And now, the, mind you, the whole time it wasn't, you know, constantly going at like, oh yeah, you know, 16th notes or anything like that. There were some parts in there that were a little bit slower that would be able to help him get you know catch his breath and whatnot but either way with a song of that caliber it's a very highly technical song so being able to play at a high capability for that high tech high technicality song definitely takes a lot of endurance and a lot of training and felipe has definitely done a lot of training in order to be able to play at that caliber constantly for an entire set as well not just for that one song but yeah he looked very loose he looked kind of relaxed as well i think with uh i was getting a little confused it looked like he was starting to tense up a little bit on certain fills but i think part of that was just because of his tom positioning because you can't exactly keep a narrow grip when you have your toms positioned in a different way sometimes if they're a little bit uh higher up and flatter you can't exactly just like do this you know and keep your arms like close together like this sometimes you have to flare them out a little bit and there's nothing wrong with that just as long as you're keeping loose and everything like that you know i know with me in particular i have my toms angled down just a little bit more and pointed a little bit more towards me so i don't necessarily have to flare out like this whenever i do it i can keep my arms a little bit closer together and i prefer it that way personally but having your arms a little bit more flared out to do fills there's nothing wrong with that just as long as you're not straining and causing any extra harm however if you are using your arms flared out with your technique some things to remind yourself of and pay attention to if you're feeling straight straining your shoulders and then the muscles right here in your neck, then that's when you probably want to reevaluate your setup and your technique. You don't want to cause straining your shoulders and your traps right here because ultimately that could be what's fueling your strokes and being able to, for you to play that. And that's unnecessary tension. That could actually be hampering your speed. So what are some things that we can take away from Felipe's drumming? Well, for one, lots of practice, lots of time put into practice and keep everything as loose as you possibly can. Nice little voice crack when I said loose. That was funny. I can't even say loose like a normal human being. A lot of endurance practice is definitely necessary, especially if you're trying to play at a high technicality for a long time and for a full set list of like an hour to 30 minutes. So there are definitely a lot of different exercises that you can do to help promote yourself and help promote endurance. Some of these things could be what I like to call titration exercises. And what this is, is it's basically a pyramid exercise where you start off with like half notes then you go to quarter notes and then you play eighth notes then 16th notes and then go back down. I call them titration exercises just because that's my medical background coming in and I'm thinking like a medical personnel. But they're a little bit more commonly known as pyramid exercises. So you can always try those out and those are very beneficial to being able to help you to achieve better endurance and actually also achieve higher speeds as well as well as also just playing for longer setting your metronome to a nice comfortable tempo and just seeing how long you can play for little things like that are absolutely beneficial to your playing and will actually ultimately help you out in the long run just because it helps to build endurance and helps you to build that you know capability to be able to play that quickly and it also helps to build muscle memory as well so that way it builds a new threshold so that way if you ever fall back a little bit you rest at that threshold so that way you can keep on building up and up and up from there muscle memory is a very interesting thing and i do highly recommend you do some research into muscle memory as well and the physiology behind drumming the more you study physiology behind drumming the easier it actually will be in order to be able to play your instrument it's something that i did and it's something that i think a lot of drummers should do so definitely take some research and time to think about that and base your setup around that as well what are some things that are your strengths and weaknesses and maybe change your setup around that so that way you can help improve yourself a little bit but yeah absolutely excellent job on felipe's part very good job playing a very nice high tech technicality song hopefully i'll be able to see him with beyond creation one of these days but who knows we'll see what happens there with all that being said y'all that's going to be the end of this video so here's just a few things y'all can do to support me so for one you can like share comment and subscribe all that stuff is really awesome you can also check out the playlist i have down below with very similar videos to this and you can also check out the links i have to my band's spotify page and my band's instagram page that would also be really cool as well and with all that being said y'all that's going to be the end of this video so thanks everyone for tuning in and stopping by it's been great to have you here and hopefully i'll see y'all in the next one cheers and have a great night